this bridge in particular carries uh, just over 9,000 vehicles per day. The whole interchange sees just over 30,000 vehicles per day. It's currently rated serious condition. Over the years, we've maintained it with our region bridge crews and our statewide bridge crews to patch it and overlay it, uh, do steel repairs to it. Last year, uh, after another inspection of this bridge, we just, in talking, decided that we can't wait any longer. We have to address it. So basically what we're doing is putting a Band-Aid on this, on this structure. We're putting five and a half million dollars into a new bridge deck to get us a life of the structure that can last until we can replace the entire interchange. Hopefully that's you know within 10 to 15 years, but we can't say, um, we just, all we can say is we don't have the funding to address it right now. Well, it's extremely important to us because uh, as an authority, we use it very often. We have uh, one of the, the uh, the greatest uh, regional services of our kind in the state and we cover six counties but we continue and have provided regional service now for over 20 years and so on a daily basis we, we go through there we operate 400 vehicles in this community and many of them uh, all different sizes and uh, uh, I don't know how many times a day we go through there but it's quite a bit <laughs> it's very important to us what we would see if we had to close that bridge is all of that traffic would have to be rerouted into the surrounding interchange ramps surrounding interchange area uh, it, it's an interchange that's already deficient in its level of service it's already congested and backlogged we would be dumping onto that that system if we would put out a press release right now that said that this bridge was closing uh, we would have a big uproar and it would it would cause a lot of distress to a lot of people we try, we are trying very hard to not have that happen.